Hi, this is question number three, taken from June 2006, Advanced Level Maths, HSC Statistics 2. Random samples of size 120 are taken from the distribution, binomial distribution, with uh, uh, 15 and 0 0.4. Describe fully the distribution of the, of the sample mean. And also we need to find the probability that the mean of a random sample of size 120 is greater than 6.1. Okay, this is basically a binomial distribution. Right, so let's work this out. We need to describe fully the distribution of the sample mean. Okay, so how are we going to describe the distribution of the sample mean? First of all, what we need to observe is that from this binomial, okay, we have this as n and we have this as p. What we can do is we can do np. If we do that on the calculator, 15 times 0 0.4 is going to give you 6. And also we can do nq. The probability of success is 0 0.4. The probability of failure will be 1 minus 0 0.4. That is 15 times 1 minus 0 0.4, which is basically then 0 0.6 times 15, and that's going to be given 9. Now, since NP, N, NQ are both greater than 5. Therefore, we can clearly say that this is, this approximate, we approximate to a normal distribution. We are dealing with a normal distribution, basically. And what this normal distribution is all about, okay, it's first of all we're going to say that's the answer we're dealing with the normal distribution where let us say that x is normally distributed with mean np6 and we have the standard deviation npq what is the standard deviation the standard deviation is going to be um, NPQ. So let's try and work this out. So what is uh, right? NPQ is basically 0 0.4 times 0 0.6. Okay. So the NPQ is going to be 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 times 15 that's going to give you 3.6 but we're dealing with uh, samples samples of size 120 each so we're going to divide this by 120 so we have 3.6 divided by 120 and we'll do the square root of that um, so if you do sorry, uh, 3.6 divided by uh, 120 is going to give you this much and that's going to be the variance okay so 0 decimal 0 3 to the square will be the standard deviation all right so here we are it's a normal distribution now for the second part of the question we have to find to calculate the probability that um, the mean that the mean of a random sample of size 120 is greater than 6.1 we have to find the probability that the mean okay of the sample size 120 right is greater than 6 decimal 1 so how are we going to do this okay so basically right uh, we're going to say then that's exactly the same as the probability of the mean being greater than 6.1 minus the normal mean, 6, all divided by the variance. Okay, so this is sort of a, this is the variance basically. Right, and if you have to do this on a calculator, it's going to be greater than um, 
6.1 minus 6 is 0 0.1 divided by the root of this 0 0.5774 and uh, what are we dealing with? We're dealing with a situation where we are going to the right of the curve of this normal distribution so if this is a p of z being greater than a we've learned is exactly the same as p of z being less than a so for this one then it's going to be p of u uh, being less than 0 0.5774 so that's 1 minus uh, xi of uh, 0.5774 that's fine, I should have put 1 here and minus here, that's fine okay. 1 minus the 5 of this and how much that's going to be all, all we need to do now is just look uh, from the tables 0 0.775 the z value of 0 0.775 so what is 0 0.775 0 point, sorry, 0 0.5774 so 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 7, 0 0.57, and then 7 again. And 7 is 24 there. So 0 0.7157 plus 24. So that's um, 0. 7157 plus 0 0.0024 0 0.7181 so that's 1 minus 0 decimal 7181 and that's going to give us 0 decimal 2819 into 3SF we're going to say this is a zero decimal two eight two to three significant figures. And here we are for the third question.